In this video, we are going to enable some of the Laravel Jetstream features. We're going to enable two-factor authentication. We're going to enable uh, profile pictures and API tokens. So let's have a quick look. At the end of the previous video, we just implemented roles and permissions, so we can get rid of that. Uh, so let's have a quick look at what we're up to. Let's just close some of this, tidy up. Don't need, don't need that, don't need that, don't need that, don't need anything. Right. So let's have a quick look. We need to go to config. Close that. So go to your config folder and then we need to go to chat stream probably. So let's have a look in here. You can see features. So let's just enable most of them. Uh, so terms and privacy policy, that's gonna make it so that when you create an account, you have to check the box, profile photos. So you just need to uncomment these. That's as, in, as simple as it is. So good. And uncomment that, and now we're gonna save that. And now, what we'll notice here, if we refresh the page, we've got profile photo there, API tokens there. What else did we do? And I'll show you the terms and uh, permissions. So let's go to our little profile page. And you can see you can now select a profile photo. Just to show you, if we comment that out again, save it, refresh the page, we don't have that option. So it's actually amazing how simple that is to do. So let's log out and I'll show you the terms functionality so we register now now there's a checkbox there if we comment it refresh it won't be there so that's how good that is so let's just get that back and then i'll show you the api tokens so test to to at test.com Now look what happens, you click register. Oh, no, it doesn't let you, you've got to take that box. Okay, I'll go to API tokens, and you can create your API tokens here. Create. So that is how you enable those Jetstream features. There are also Fortify um, features that you can enable and disable. So if you go to your config, uh, folder and then fortify you'll see this is the file and you'll see down here you've got all these features so you can comment these out or you can enable them so email verification that's quite handy we will implement that later but i'm not going to show you right now so by default it looks like two-factor authentication is active if we see here it is active and you can enable it um you have to put your password in it's amazing that this just comes as standard but if you comment that out you'll see that and then refresh it, it won't be there. So really handy. Um, I mean, I don't know if we're really gonna need it for this app, but let's just leave it as it was because it just, it just is good, isn't it? Um, so that's how you do two-factor authentication. Um, and you can see there's other features that you can enable or disable. So if you don't want your, you don't want users to be able to register, you just feature, um, you just comment that out. Same for password resets and updating profile information and passwords and yeah, all of that really. So that is uh, the Fortify features. In the future videos, I am going to show you how to actually make use of API tokens because we're going to use it in our projects that we're doing. But in the next video, we're going to create a model so we can create our tool which is what we're actually building this app for. Uh, and we're gonna start performing some of the CRUD actions. That's create, read, update, and delete. So we're gonna delete, delete even. So we're gonna be doing that. Uh, so we're gonna be putting data into our database. We're gonna be retrieving it from the database. We're gonna be updating that data and then saving it to the database. And we're gonna be deleting it from the database. Um, and we'll probably do some validation in that uh, as well. But I don't know if that will be the whole purpose of that video? Probably not. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in that one.